Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions and those of you that are available today, welcome to <laughs> Electric Field Strength. We are still continuing with electrostatics. In the last video, we were looking at electric field, okay? We were looking at electric field. When we say we have really done, we have really worked today we must have come to the conclusion of these formulas, okay? We must have come to the conclusion of these formulas, okay? So as a reminder, in the last video, we looked at electric field, right? We looked at electric field. So let me just take a charge. Um, I'm gonna use a positive charge, okay? I'm gonna use a positive charge, okay? So we said a positive charge, direction is outwards, right? Direction is outwards, okay? So we also mentioned that when a charge carries more, or when an object carries more charges, there will be more electric field lines, right? Now, in this video, we want to quantify, we want to quantify these charges. So we basically want to put a number to the field lines right we basically want to put a number to the electric field so we're basically measuring how strong an electric field is to do that we will place a positive test charge um in the field okay in the field i'm going to show you just now we do this so we place a positive test charge let's say here is it here Okay, I'm going to call it plus small letter Q. And let's say this object here is object Q. Okay, let's say this is object Q. Of course, a positive object Q. All right, or maybe let me do this. Um, let me do this. Um, let me erase this a bit and say positive capital Q. Okay, so when we place a small test charge um, near uh, charge capital Q, it'll experience it'll experience a force, and that is due to the electric field surrounding Q. All right. Now that force, if you remember, that force we quantified it as F equals K Q one Q two all over R two. But in this case, we will say this is F equals K Q1, sorry, KQ, capital Q, and small letter Q all over R squared. Right? All over R squared. So this was Coulomb's law, isn't it? This was Coulomb's law. All right? This was Coulomb's law. So from Coulomb's law, we, we remember that from Coulomb's law, um, it basically, Coulomb's law depends on the magnitude of the charge Q. All right, it depends on the magnitude of charge Q, all right, and the distance from Q, all right, and the distance from, I mean, the distance of the test charge from Q, all right. Now, if we say Coulomb's law depends on this Q, okay, and the distance the test charge is from charge Q, okay, I think we are getting somewhere, we are getting somewhere, right? So now I want you to imagine this. If charge Q gets closer, let me write it down. So if small letter Q gets closer, um, <clears throat> gets closer to Q, what will happen? Somebody, what are you saying? Force will increase, right? Force will increase, <clears throat> right? Force will increase. Right? So basically we are saying the closer you get, the closer Q gets to charge, uh, small letter Q gets to object Q, the greater the force. Right? So that means as test charge gets closer to Q, the electric field will get stronger. So we are saying if Q gets closer to if small letter Q gets closer to capital letter Q, force increases, 
and so is the electric field. All right? And so is the electric field. All right? And so is the electric field. Isn't it? And so is the electric field. All right? So, with this being said, we are therefore trying to say, okay, so this means electric field is basically proportional, directly proportional to the force. And we can also say electric field is inversely proportional to magnitude of the test charge, right? So this means electric field strength is force over Q. Okay, this means electric field strength is force over Q. Now let's define electric field strength. So the magnitude, the magnitude, pay attention, the magnitude of the electric field, right? The magnitude of the electric field, let me, okay, electric field is E, right? Of the electric field at a point, okay? At a point is the force per unit charge, okay, is the force per unit charge, okay, is the force per unit charge. Now, let me show you something. Um, let me try to highlight here. Let me try to highlight here. I hope it will work. So, the magnitude of the electric field is the force per unit charge. Now, let me go back to my normal pen. So, electric field, with magnitude of the electric field is what we term E. What is this E? Electric field strength. All right? Electric field strength. All right? Is the, uh, at a point is the force, capital F, per unit charge. Small letter Q. Can you guys see that? All right. So now, this is one equation of... <coughs> This is one equation of electric field strength. Remember, this is at a point. So, how you use this, you will see it sometimes. You will see, you will be given, let's say, a point here, and then an object here, another point. Okay, an object here, and a point here. This object will have whatever magnitude. And this is where you will be using um, this, okay? But I will add more on this, okay? I will add more on this, okay? I will add more on this because this is one, the second e equation, okay? This is the second equation. So, if you remember well, I said to you this F is, F is K, Q1, or rather Q, capital Q, and the test charge over R squared, right? And we have just said E is equal to F over Q. What does that mean? In place of F, we will put K, Q of the object and the test charge over R squared all over small letter Q. Now, this means the Qs are cancelling. Now, what do we have? We have we have E equals K Q over R squared, right? We have E equals KQ over R squared, okay? So this is the second formula that you use for electric field strength, okay? So let me sum them. Our formulas are E equals F over Q. This is when we are given electric field. Uh, rather, this is when you're given a test charge and electrostatic force. And you have E equals K Q over R squared. This is when you're given um, a charged object and a distance from that charged object to a point. So this is the one where you have an object here and, sorry, attached object and a point. So this is where you will be using 
um, this is R. This is where you will be using this formula. Okay, this is where you will be using this formula. Okay, with this one, with this one here, the force must be given what force? Electrostatic force, and the magnitude of the test charge must also be given. Okay, the magnitude of the test charge must also be given. All right, guys. Now, remember, this E is called electric field strength. Now, the units of E, okay, the units of E, let me use a black color, the units of electric field strength are Newton per Coulomb. Again, E is a vector quantity. Okay, E is a vector quantity. So when we say it is a vector quantity, we basically say when you do uh, calculations that require um, electric field strength, you must always state which direction is positive. Okay, you must always state which direction is positive. Okay, guys. So we are going to look at examples in the next slide. Okay, so for now, take a break and we will be back. So should I say bye-bye? Okay, take a break.